Now to our guest segment. <laughs> VR gaming. Fad or the future. With us, a special guest, Brian. And Brian, I understand we might touch on the history of VR. Let me just name a few dates here. In 1956, the cinematographer Morton Hellig created the Sensorama, which is the first VR machine patented in 1962. There's a large booth that could fit up to four people at a time, combine multiple technologies, combine full color, 3D audio, audio vibration, smell, and atmospheric effects. Excuse me. 1965, Ivan Sutherland, a computer scientist, presented his vision of the ultimate display. The concept was of a virtual world used through a HMD replacing reality according to those now, to that experience that 1972 general electric VR corporation VR. built a computerized flight Bad simulator for those flight simulator fans out there which featured 180 Brian. degree field of vision by using three, three screens you remember 3d surround three screens let me just name the, the cockpit so brian and where is vr now where is it going and what does the future look like the first VR it was large. VR got its first proper airing when respected computer scientist Ivan Sutherland described what he calls the ultimate display. A head mounted, room filling wonder gadget that Sutherland hoped would prove a looking glass into a mathematical wonderland. Sutherland's tech was truly mind bending, but as we know, the public's appetite over the next two decades was for computers that were a little more two dimensional. Nevertheless, VR was growing behind the scenes. Industrial synths, crude wireframe environments, it can only be the mid 80s. A time when systems like NASA's virtual visual environment All right. were proving the potential of VR outside the consumer sphere. Shown off in 1986, two tiny LCD screens and a helmet mounted sensor promised the final frontier. Talk about perfect timing on that. Dual display. Back on Earth, the 80s saw virtual reality become a familiar term. One popularized by Jaron Lanier of VPN. Well, um, thank you for having me, Jeff. And um, you know, VR, VR is something that has always been kind of a, uh, a fascination of mine. Um, I remember my first experience with VR was actually in Walmart. Um, we went to the electronics department, and there is a, a console that only 90s kids know about. And there was, it was a Nintendo VR system. And basically, it was, it was terrible. It was just red lines that were, it, there it is, the Virtual Boy. Uh, so the Virtual Boy was all red and black. And in fact, you can see it right now that that is the trademark of that system. It was just vector lines. Um, it was it was a fantastic piece of equipment as a kid, um, but that is what you're looking at. And it's a 3D stereoscopic image. So people were getting nauseous and dizzy and it, it did not sell well. Uh, it was discontinued shortly after it was released. Um, so quickly that there was actually an accessory for it that was a uh, a cable so two people could play them side by side in competing games that accessory was never officially released because the the it was just canned um eventually the oculus rift came out which you see there uh which was followed by the the small things Hold like on, the the uh, gear vr we, we or the google you know, vr which was just a cardboard box you slapped your phone into and strapped to your face just like that here. Let me get, um let me get over the years we've gotten a lot more advanced uh things like the um, htc vive have evolved to uh, uh phenomenal quality levels um but they're still at a relatively high price point. They're not. Uh, they're not really. Um, Sorry. They're. They're not really affordable for your average person. So, what Facebook ended up doing, or Meta rather, is uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Meta bought Oculus. Uh, one of the one of the pioneers of the consumer VRs, and the the result is okay. this wonderful on, device. Um, and let me turn my background off for a second 
And this is... Okay. Oh, no worries. If there's one thing humans can't stand, it's the actual physical world. All right. Do -do. Um, so Mark Zuckerberg went and bought, uh, Oculus. And what ended up coming out of that is uh, two series of devices. Uh, you have the MetaQuest and the MetaQuest 2. Uh, the second generation is what I'm holding in my hand. Uh, there's also the MetaQuest Pro, uh, which is more for AR. Now, we went through years of VR uh getting different kinds of iteration updates uh you know the the purpose of vr has changed over the years and essentially what's ended up happening is you now have the because of meta buying uh buying oculus you now have this this realization that vr is not meant for uh, AAA games. It's not met, meant for hyper-realistic images. It's made for to be a social platform. It's made to to be a place where you can hang out with your friends, or or play little mini games. It's not made to be for extended gaming sessions or or anything like that. But it really pushes your creativity. You can play you can play games. You can go into um horizons worlds or horizon worlds and create worlds you know you the the possibilities are are endless with vr as to what you can use it for especially when you start getting into things like augmented reality uh which utilizes cameras on the outside of the headset to be able to immerse your experience into your outside environment um there's a lot more vr uh VR possibilities with using your uh, VR headset as a uh, second screen or being able to cast your screen from your uh, laptop or desktop to your uh, VR headset to use as a, a display in a virtual environment. Um, however, I was going to test that on, on the demo tonight. However, uh, the MacBook Pro is not very good at pushing VR signal, uh, even if it's running Windows. So do not recommend. Um, <laughs> the nice thing about the Quest, though, is it is both affordable and portable. What we can do, Brian, you don't have to have a a massive gaming rig. Which um, you can you can literally just boot it up and and it's good to go. Uh, you just need a Wi-Fi connection and the the controllers it comes with, and you're you're golden. If you wanted to go into the the super high end VR systems, you can still do that. Um, you'll get a better experience when it comes to frame rates and things of that nature. Um, however, you if you're looking to get into VR or you don't have the money to drop right. on a, a fifteen hundred dollar gaming rig or or higher, um, especially with the prices these days, you know you're looking about two thousand dollars for a really good you know entry level VR cable. Your hands. So Brian, tell us what so, we are looking at here. So right now we're in Horizon Worlds, which is one of the uh, many games that are available on the VR platform. The difference is this one's free. So basically, if you if you buy the headset and, and you wanted to kind of test things out, see what's going on, you can go in here and uh, it's free. You can go to, I mean, now that... I can just go, here's the menu. Um, <laughs> so there's a bunch of different worlds to choose from. You can go to popular worlds. They have stuff that's like uh, uh, CS Go on a budget. <laughs> um, yeah, there's is, other stuff. This is the Oculus headset, uh, the Oculus 
Quest Two, correct? Yes, this is the Oculus. Uh, so it's it's uh, it, it, it's a weird in between thing, right? Okay. So there's people that still call it the Oculus because they still use the same logo, but it's technically now the Meta Quest. Meta Quest. Okay. Um, so the Meta Quest Two is the one that I'm specifically using. Uh, this retails for I believe it's five ninety nine at the moment. Um, basically, it'll come with uh, two hand controllers, uh, which you can see on the webcam right now. Uh, in theory, you might not be able to. Um, but uh, it comes with two controllers in the headset. There are other accessories you can get, like extended battery packs, which I'm wearing one right now. Um, it kind of helps to even out the weight of the headset because it is very front heavy. Not in virtual reality, um, you aren't. <laughs> so basically, like I was saying, there's a bunch of different worlds you can go to. Um, one of my favorites is actually this Wheel of Fortune game. Um, I don't have it set up to share the audio, um, but the Wheel of Fortune game, I'll just take a quick, uh, we'll just go. Yeah, let's, there, yeah right? let's see Here's it. Fortune. Let's see it. So Wheel Ooh, of Fortune is what they have to call it because Wheel of Fortune is a, a um, it's trademarked. Yes. But it's the same thing. It's hilarious. Um, I go in here on occasion. Uh, one of my friends is on on this particular world right now. So as it's loading, you'll notice that there's uh, you know stuff going on. Uh, I actually have to mute my mic. And I like how you can look at your wrist. You have a small control panel there of sorts. It looks like a smart Not quite watch. the Fallout Pip Boy, but a modified version of it, perhaps. And so I, uh, I actually really like this game to the point where I've actually supported them. So I actually have access to this little VIP area that's over yeah. here. No way! Very nice. <laughs> oh yeah. So I can I can watch from here. Uh, that is definitely going to be. Japanese. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just thinking that. Yeah, peace silly. But yeah, I mean it's a it's a fun little thing. You can you can chill here in the audience, hang out with your friends, you can go play. Um but yeah, somebody somebody has literally taken the effort to go in and build a clone of Wheel of Fortune. That's pretty neat. And those are actual um, players I, down yeah. there. That is not an AI. Well, yeah, those are those are real players. people. Okay, players watching. It looks like there's an audience. Yeah. So I'm guessing nobody has legs. But anyway. Yeah, that that's what it did look like, Amrita. No legs. Yeah. No one. No one has legs. I mean, just upper body. Around, that's that's awesome. Don't have to worry about <laughs> so that. And that one's a real sure. fun game for just chilling. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of other stuff like this. This one is kind of one of the more popular ones. This is the Action Island, which is essentially a a little first person shooter that's that's really basic. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Here we go. Grab my gun. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, there's more Can't guns. The I'll take a shot. Counter Strike Where? or duck the Golden Eye. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's totally like Counter Strike Go. And is that a grenade really to funny. the left right there? <laughs> he picked that up. Oh, 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 yes. we got somebody. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. 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 Oh wow! Oh, Hello. double tap. I forgot to use my shotgun that's in my left hand. <laughs> away. That person's oh, away. I'll be right back to kill you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's forty. Oh, there's okay. somebody Look, there. Percent health off of that person. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. 
It's sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, I see you. Ooh. They ducked. Oh, oh, coming down. Ah, they're quick. Oh. Oh. They're quick. Yeah, it's that girl that. was good. Here we go. You know what? Can I take your gun? Another. We'll take your gun. Two pistols? <laughs> I got. That would be cool. I wish. Why is it showing me tips? I don't want it to show me that tip. Whatever. Oh, there we go. If you get shot, yeah. you have to start all over again. Oh, oh my God. She's killing you. Uh, no, she's using the assault rifle. That's what it is. She'll run out of ammo here shortly. Ammo to use, or you find it within the game? Does it just randomly drop? No. It, it, basically, it's set up like old school game. What the hell? Oh, gorilla tactics. I don't even know where that dude was. <laughs> yeah, that, he's, these people they are, are not sure. rushing around. I also started in this halfway game. through the game, so it's kind of. They're coming in for the kill. Oh, there's somebody. 65, 45, zero. You got it. Oh, good shot. Yeah, huh, good guys. shot, Brian. Better. I'm sure it doesn't take a lot to kill some so paper mache people. Doing this. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Really, Joe? Not, I've seen not you play, general. okay? You're spinning around all the time. Oh, there you there you go, you Brian. You should try it. It's working. She wants me to try VR. <clears throat> oh. Uh, you could try I Rocky's see. VR. Another potential special guest on the show. We, we're working out a contract with him. Mm-hmm. He could. Maybe he could bring his VR. And then we can see some P PvP. Nice. Uh, match. I like how you can bring up the dashboard like that. Anywhere you are, you, there could be gunfire. It doesn't matter. That's really neat. Oh, yeah. You could... But you also have this little... Such a peaceful this little place. Home. Yeah, take me away. <laughs> take me away. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you, can, you can do that wherever. Um, there's a couple of social zones, too. So you have, like, one that's geared to be a social zone for social people and then a social zone for gamers. Uh, so hey. venues is kind of the social spot for social people. Um, and then there's another one that's arcade and that one's the social spot that's for a good people that are looking to play you games. Too, and you um, were telling me before that some people have these headsets just for social purposes separate from gaming. So this is not just specifically absolutely. for gaming, but it can be used for gaming. Oh, absolutely. And actually, I can, uh, if we go to venues, actually. I, but so you, the thing that I was getting to, and I forgot about it. Um, so you have this little house. Um, it's in your menus. Uh, so if you go to your main menus, you have, basically, it'll be a button that's right here. Uh, and that button will actually say home. And it'll take you to a safe spot. Um, the only people that can come into this, this particular world are people that you invite. Um, and it's, it's basically just a little house a place where you can just chill with friends, have conversations. There's little tiny mini games all over the place. Yeah. Cool. But you can just like come here and chill and, you know, socialize with your friends if you really want to, yeah, if you didn't feel like going out and, you know, going out to the different worlds or whatever. And this um, is separate from the Horizon Worlds game, what you were in right but now. But yeah, I mean, correct? or oh, it's still no, yeah. So this is this okay. is still Horizon Worlds. Yeah. So this is this is just basically your your own Did little you hangout spot in Horizon Worlds. This? Yeah, I was just gonna ask this that. Is, this is pre-built, comes with it. Um, so as soon as you go into the game for the first time, it has you go through this little tutorial, okay. and then it brings you here. Um, but these are the two worlds that I was talking about. You got venues and arcade. 
Um, so venues, like I said, that's for people that are looking to be more social. They have like special concert events and things like that that you can go to. Um, and then there's the arcade, which that's for people that are looking for more uh, game related stuff. But if we go to venues, this is sometimes glitchy depending on how many people are in here because uh, they are kind of two main starting hubs. Um, Meta will actually have employees in um, in these two uh, these two worlds to interact with new people, kind of you know answer questions or talk about the VR environment. Uh, and they're usually okay. called community ambassadors, I believe. Looks like they're oh, that's interesting right there. Uh, and you'll see it. There's usually one here at all times. But yeah, so venues your home for live entertainment. Each building has different events to explore. You can meet other fans while you're here. Uh, so right now they've got like Notorious B.I.G. Uh, there's Soapstone. Another concert event over there, J Balvin. NBA 2K. Um, oh. Soapstone is a comedy club. They do they do regular stand-up comedy. You can go... Um, in fact, There's we can go there trying now. to talk to you. Looks like. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Of it's a social space. Um, there's like little things here. Um, they've got like a little 3D version of the space station now, you did can look at. It's, build it's weird. The soapstone. Um, soapstone comedy, comedy club's club. interesting. Or is it? Did someone build that comedy club? Say what? Or is that? So this was built by Meta. Or no, unemployed alcoholic okay, is the, so the author. So it'll tell you who built it. They so have, they were inspired, um, the person was inspired to build that comedy club. Okay. Just fall off into. So they definitely bits. updated the soapstone. So this used to be. <laughs> this used to look a lot different. Yeah, I like. I like the orange. Looks like a neon but, light type of deal. Yeah, they got. They got a little. Little comedy club. Okay, so this person is a comedian, clearly on stage, right? Yeah, this person, this person, and it's 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 open mic, so anybody can go up. It's usually a lot better after ten o'clock ah, because the kids are banned from here. <laughs> uh, right now, this this person. That's interesting. Someone must have set that rule, perhaps, about preventing children of a certain age from coming in. So it's it's after eight p.m. Ah. Okay. So and the other cool thing is if somebody's violating a lot of these, uh, the, in fact, that kid was. So I can actually do this. So. Get him. It's a. It, is it a brawl? What's going on here? It's like whoa, whoa. And then I can go pull the remove. So he broke one of the comedy rules. What was he saying? Uh, he was he was telling uh, racially uh, inappropriate well, jokes. Well, it's good to know uh. that you can report individuals that do that that break the house <laughs> rules of the comedy club. Right. And and that's the thing, too, is the, the rules are listed. You agree to the rules to come in. So if you violate them, they do give everybody okay. a the ability to vote somebody out. That's um, great. So if somebody's being disruptive. We'll be removed. Or, OK, poll results. Uh, yeah, see, OK, they got, they got booted. that was quick. I, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it pops up. It, it'll actually pop up a window like right in front oh, of your okay. face. that will tell you to vote. <laughs> Yeah, my and most impression just, with yes. reporting people is there is a process that will be pending. You might not get results in a little while. So for it to be instant like that. 70s basement. Basement? The 70s basement. I'm kind of curious. I saw the name and I have to see it. I wonder if it's 70s theme. Yeah. Oh, that's that's why I gotta see it. Like this seems well, this seems legit be as hell. Disco. Oh, the music though. Wait, what is going on here? There are stairs oh. to get. <laughs> oh, there's okay. stairs. Star, Star Wars. What? Oh, that's so that cute. Oh, oh I that's love awesome. It. A '90s attic. Oh, there's a snor that Snorlax was not in the '80s yeah. though. 
Nope, this lost I think all credibility. It's an aspiring <laughs> '70s basement with the Star Wars there. I can, I that resonated, but everything else. Well, yeah, BB-8 definitely not doesn't belong in the '70s basement. Snorlax does not belong in the '70s basement. Right, so Snorlax we're going to the definitely '90s. 90s. Attic. Okay, electric guitar. A sombrero. What is that? It's a very MTV. Plain... You know what? You know what? Yeah. It's it's also very tiny. I love the that NES is. though. That's a Super Nintendo. Okay. <laughs> a regular Nintendo. No, this is just, this is a regular Nintendo. And the Teenage There's Mutant Ninja Turtles videotape. Woo! Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> married with children. Hey, yeah, that's a ninety sitcom, if I'm not mistaken. ACDC Bro. is a lava lamp. Uh, I mean, they, ACDC yeah, and Pink Floyd still were still, you, you still listen to them tonight. Oh, it's the Game Boy. Hey, There's Game a Boy. Game. Can I pick it up? I can pick it up. Tell me something else. Tell me go to. Pogs. <laughs> okay, this is definitely better than the 70s basement. <laughs> oh, there's someone here checking out. Oh, hell no, I'm out. A dare t shirt? What is that saying? What? Oh, that's, that's definitely 90s. Nothing's more 90s than, than that. Oh, the Jamaican bobsled team. What the hell? Okay, I'm getting out of here. This oh, that's cool. Oh, God. Reminds me of oh, Cool that, Running. That's glitchy. I think that's the name of the movie. Here Came out go. in the 90s. Has John Candy in it. Yeah, Cool Runnings. Cool running, yeah. That's probably what that prop was for the, the sledding. Bob sledding. But there's there's all sorts of stuff to do in here, and like if you're like you can you can search for different worlds, you know you can search for a theme. Like I can go. There's a bunch of different Star Wars sandboxes that people have created. Brian, if you were to create a sandbox, what would you do? If I created a sandbox, it would probably be... Kimmel. So you are looking at different worlds. These are worlds people have created and then other people can join those worlds yes. and create within those worlds correct so if you started a world let's say it's the world yes. of the 80s i could go in there and i could build fast times at ridgemount high that's an ambitious yeah, project I mean, but essentially with the right help but I mean, so you got, you got these people have. There's people that have spent. You really get lost. Obvious in this. amounts of time. And there's on so these much walls. to do, or can do. So like, so you saw, so you yeah. saw how little of those last two that we went to. Um, what the hell? What is okay. that? Oh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, somebody created this hundred percent. This is somebody's, somebody's project. That's super neat. You know, so, and there's places to kind of chill. I would be doing something like this where I would have, you know, little mini games all over the place where you could just like, you know, talk, chill, socialize, have fun. I don't know why the gravity set so weird on this, it's but like you're on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gravity's real weird. Oh, there's got, got one. There we go. Oh, you finally got one. Another one. Oh, okay. Yep, another one. Little bean bags. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you were here with somebody and you were just like chilling and, and doing something. Win a world. 
ten dollar to play could win a world and other prizes. Who does the ten dollars go to? The person that built it. I'm kind of good. Wait a second. Why does the women's bathroom have a button in it? Hang on. What is this? Oh, it's just a Create light source. A That's mysterious <laughs> ambiance. <laughs> Why do they have bathrooms? Virtual waste. I'm to figure out why they got guns. Virtual waste. You have a Good notification one, that comes up in the corner. Your bladder is full. And then you have to find a virtual restroom <laughs> to dispose of your virtual bladder. <laughs> or what's in your virtual bladder, rather. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I mean, you got stuff like this all over the place where, you know, you got worlds like this that are relatively small. You know, they got a little bit of stuff to do, but it's more it's more social, you know, and then you got blue said, team. There was somebody in here. Was that join the blue team? It looks like it looks is like they're stretching. Team? Or is that orange team that it's it's orange team. All right, there's someone else. Let's get go. In get, inside the of the, get inside of the gate. Let's go. All right. Let's this see. game I love. Don't mess around. Let's go, kid. I'm about to get freaking destroyed. Russian for this gun. <laughs> it's cool how they have like bigger guns just randomly waiting for you to pick up. Did you spawn, kid? Is that a rocket launcher that you have? Okay. Yeah. He oh, he left. He, he left. Too much, left. Too much stress to be hit by a rocket launcher. <laughs> Said I Said, forget don't it. Have I'm going home. Launcher. I'm going home. That's right. It's not the size that the Austin Powers. So use it. Line. <laughs> what, I think from Gold Member. I think it was the Gold Member one. But that was unfortunate. I was hoping there were more people. In this. Yeah, there's not a lot of people in that world. How many worlds approximately are there? But again, this is one of those things where it's it's a lot more fun when you have a group of I people. Say, yeah, yeah. These are social spaces. Oh, I'm sure. Dodge brawl. Dodge is this brawl. a dodgeball game that I never knew about? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold up. This is going to end poorly. <laughs> oh, I'm at. It looks like one. there's yeah, a lot of I different know, things to do on there, Joe. Hours. Easy. Easy and all. Oh, my God. Join a team. Right. And it's only going to grow with more people creating more sandboxes. Or people spent their time building the sandboxes. It is amazing. game in progress but yeah it's like this little dodgeball arena and that's so cool we're gonna go to spectator it's not vip seating but it will do yeah man this is awesome oh my god I think, I think everyone good. either the, yeah where is everybody or was eliminated can you substitute that doesn't look like oh that's wait. what i'm gonna see nope nope 
No. It says that, oh, they're. It says they're back to. Still game Ooh. in progress. Yeah, it looks like they're not even. I don't know. I guess they left. Oh, here we go. Now game I can play. Pro- oh no, game in progress again. Theory. I don't know what that timer is. You have a helmet you can wear. Yeah, I guess as you level up, you can get different helmets. You could just spend hours in this leveling up to be the ultimate dodge brawl player. Level 60. Scoreboard. So these are top scores, I'm thinking. Or are the current game. Well, this okay. is the Check this is stats. the current game. These are So who's who's number this 1? This is your this is your stats. J Queen 300. Mm. You can press press that Ooh, button. I guess it only okay. let you check your own. Level 1. Yeah. Makes sense. Leaderboard. Oh, there's a leaderboard. So, wins Data leaderboard Sigma, is this person with 140 wins. And then you got, for lifetime experience, is this guy's a fighter. That is some time. That is some serious time. Yeah, yeah. He's been very dedicated to the oh, yeah. game. There's, 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 people that, there's people that are all over this. Oh, I can, I can throw a ball. Oh, oh, he lost the ball. The ball is gone. The ball is gone. Oh, the gone. <laughs> ball just like vanished. Oh, there we go. Oops. these kids show them what you got Brian <laughs> let's go nobody else wants to play <laughs> just left <gasps> bastards <laughs> rejection right this has been Well, that's new. I guess uh, the plaza is another one of those social hubs. Nice. Which is nice because venues is terrible. Sheer amount of children. (laughs) Yeah, you can tell this is new. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the plaza. What do you do at the plaza? It looks like Just it. hang out, play ball. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little, just a little social hug. You know, just chill, do your thing. Um, but yeah, this is, I've never been to this one before. That's interesting. But I mean, like I said, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot to get used to. Um, but you know, once you kind of get the the feel for it, and you you kind of immerse yourself. It's 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 different. You know, it's it's not definitely like a different experience. Game. It's like going to another world to hang out. 
Exactly. It's it's meant to be. Oh, he's throwing paper. <laughs> Sorry, ADHD <laughs> moment. Um, but yeah, but that's the level of immersion, right? Is, you know, we're having a conversation. I'm chilling here in VR and all of a sudden something catches my attention. It's just this random dude throwing little paper airplanes. <laughs> that's pretty neat that you have the option to create these little things. It, right. You know, you can, you can, and you can monetize yeah, like it. You know, you can, $10. you can create little uh little upgrades people can buy or you know cosmetic items that people can use in your world little exclusive areas you know stuff like that so this is uh, maybe he's trying to fly them into those little square things yeah i think that is what he's trying to do but i think uh, like a game yeah, he's he's uh, not very good at. I'm sure it's takes some getting used to. Where'd your plane go? Well, looks more difficult than it seems. Actually, that's I'm just having fun right now. <laughs> Pretty good. Dude, I don't I don't care. Oh, he got one. I think he made it through. Oh, dude, this is the. I don't, I'm, you're like 12 years old, kid. I don't want you telling me how to do this. <laughs> so you could hear him talk? That was a little tour of uh, what you can do with the, the, the honestly, the budget the budget headset um <clears throat> and you know like i was saying it's it's more of a social experience than it is a true gaming experience um you know there are plenty of different options for games for for the system uh, i used horizon worlds which was just a single free game there's plenty of games that are incredibly popular um beat saber is one of them which is kind of like ddr mixed with guitar hero with lightsabers I, I can't can't argue with that. I'm terrible at it because apparently my hand eye coordination is not what I thought that it was. Um, but it's 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 fun. I was showing I was trying to show Amrita before I realized my screen was black. But uh, um, but to kind of to kind of put it in 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 summary, I I don't necessarily think that VR is the future of gaming, uh, but I do think it is it is the future of and I, I hate saying it like this, but I do think it is uh, the future for um I think VR is what what uh instant messenger was when the internet first started. Okay. The yeah, way to I think that this is more, more of a social tool to bring people together. I could totally see that. And it's it's interesting too that you mention that because there are applications where you can play games over text messages, SMS messages as well. So it, it, yeah. text messaging is not gaming, but you have the option to play a game with that person you are texting, just like you have the option with VR to play a game. So perhaps it's a means of communication more than it is a means of gaming, but can be a means of gaming. Right. And it's it's the same premise as as the, the hardcore phone gaming isn't gaming people mm -hmm. you know <laughs> it's the same principle phone gaming is legitimately gaming but it's it's not you can play games with your phone but your phone's not made to game you you can play games on on vr but it's it's mainly made to be a social hub slash immersion experience yeah you know you can you can create a, a different environment to be in or or choose a different environment to be in there's meditation apps there's fitness apps there's yoga apps there's like all these different things that you can do in vr and so it's it's more of a it's more of an immersive what people were doing with the the nintendo switch or not the switch the uh the nintendo mm -hmm. wii 
where, you know, with the Wiimote and the, the, the pad that you could buy for it, where you could do all the fitness games and stuff like that, the Wii, it, it's essentially like playing the Wii with two Wii controllers and, a head, and the, the screen strapped to your face. That's what it is. All the same types of, of titles, the little the little like um, you know the the mini games, the bowling, the 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 sword fighting, and things like that. You can do adventure games. You can do, but it's made to be like the Wii. Nobody ever played the Wii by themselves. Nobody. You would always play with your friends. Mario oh, Party. Man. You would play the the Wii Sports. You would you know. It's the same same principle. It's just they've taken it and put it into a different kind of experience, um, which is great. I think yeah. I think you know, especially for folks that have friends that live across the country or in a different country, or even you know, honestly, I find it I find it inconvenient to hang out with people that that live less than thirty minutes away from me. So <laughs> it's it's perfect. Um, if you have those kinds of situations in your life. And I think, um, you know, there's going to be those nights where, you know, you and I have done this, Joe, where, where we go on a game and, and all of a sudden we realize I want to, I want to, to, to game and, and play with you guys, but I don't really want to play a game where I have to <laughs> think you can drink at your house and, and, and stumble around in VR. Let's do it. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah. personally, I think, I think that's where, that's where VR is headed. Yeah. Right. You know, I think, I think gaming is, is just a natural thing to happen. Um, you know, there's, there's gotta be things to keep people entertained and things to do. Uh, so you create activities and games. There's escape rooms. There's yeah. you, you name it. It's there there's somewhere. Game. Someone built uh, those escape rooms. I take it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So someone went to one um, and that's, and, and that's it, just the free stuff. Wow. You know, there's, there's, there's half-life Alex. Ooh. There's, there's other types of, of games that are on there. Someone that, um, built half-life you know, Alex or because I'm familiar with on steam, you can buy. No, no, it's, it's, it's okay. in there. It's it's actually one of the one of the the games that you can buy, uh, but there are other titles. I was just showing Horizon yeah. Worlds. Uh, it was you know that that one's the most accessible to everyone because it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean it's 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 a little cartoony, I, granted. But you're 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 in there for the immersion, not for the not for the graphics. Yeah, I agree. More more communication oriented than so much gaming. But the games are still fun, even though it's not your your AAA graphics experience, so to speak. Yeah, and it's a far cry from VR yeah. chat. Like, it's it's definitely up, a step yeah. up from VR chat. VR chat. I mean, VR chat had its had its great moments, uh, but it was an incredibly toxic environment. <laughs> Gosh, I can imagine. <laughs> um, you know, so that's one thing that I got to applaud um, a lot of these developers, you know, Meta, uh, I got to give them a, a little bit of credit where credit's due. They they do a really good job of moderating. Um, so if they see you know, they have people that are constantly popping in and out of the worlds to see what's going on and they'll they'll actually send you a notification that they had somebody in there. Um, but they they do a really good job of of moderating and and protecting kids and protecting you know folks that are using the platform from you know any kind of abuse or any kind of um, you know feeling offended by people's language or actions or things like that. So yeah. I, I do have to That's give them that too. That. It's a safe With place. The individual you reported, oh, absolutely. You, can, you can vote yeah. somebody out being disruptive you can mute someone you can isolate yourself um you know so you can set yourself so you're muted and deafened so you can't hear anything that's going on around you um yeah so there's there's a lot of a lot of different cool things about it vr gaming everyone brian thank, thank you so phenomenal. much for this guest segment no problem at Let's all now go to the comments <laughs> 